Well, good morning, everyone, and welcome to Hampton City School Citizen of the Month Luncheon. I'm Kelly Goral, the Executive Director of Public Relations and Marketing for Hampton City Schools, and I'm very proud to serve as your MC today. As I was preparing for today, I thought it was only fitting to talk briefly about the five main characteristics of a good citizen. So first is honesty. Honesty is the basic theme of a good citizenship. A person must be honest with others and with himself or herself in order to be a good citizen. Secondly, compassion. Compassion is the emotion of caring for people and for other living things, which is a wonderful trait at this time of the year. Secondly, or thirdly, I'm so sorry, is respect. Respect is similar to compassion, but different in some ways. An important aspect of respect is self-respect, whereas compassion is directed towards others. A good citizen has self-respect, respects others, respects property, and respects rules and laws. Out of honesty, compassion, and respect comes responsibility. Responsibility is about action, and it includes much of what people think of as a good citizen. Finally, the theme of courage is important to good citizenship. People, people are capable of moving beyond mere goodness towards greatness. Courage enables people to do the right thing, even when it's an unpopular or difficult thing to do. So I'm sure that each one of you here today has demonstrated one or more of these citizenship traits, and that's why you've been selected to represent your school. So thank you for your role as a good citizen in your schools, our community, and our world. So it is now my pleasure to introduce someone very important, our school superintendent, Dr. Jeffrey Smith. All right, let's start off with a nice, warm good morning. good morning. Oh, you're almost there. Good morning. Good morning. What an absolute pleasure it is for us to be here with you. And this continues really to be a favorite event for me um, throughout all of our uh, months that we celebrate and have wonderful activities occurring here in Hampton City Schools. This remains one of my favorite events. You want to know why? why? Oh, come on. You want to know why? why? Because we're celebrating you. So give yourselves a hand this morning. And so as citizens of the month, you are one among other shining stars in your school. So give yourselves a nice pat back there, OK? Um, you were selected based on scholarship, character, the respect and courtesy you show for others, responsibility, and sportsmanship. Indeed, you are a leader, and others look to you um, as a model for their behavior. And so, you are our future. And without question, we celebrate with you because we know that the future is very bright in your hands. And so again, congratulations to you on your selection as Citizen of the Month, all of us, and I'd ask the adults to please stand, all of the adults, please stand, all of our adults, principals and other administrators and school board members and city council, all of us in this room, we are proud of you and we're so happy to celebrate today with you on this particular achievement. Let's give our young people a wonderful hand. May be seated, and as we continue this morning in this time of celebration for Citizen of the Month, it is my honor to recognize the chair of our school board, Ms. Ann Cherry. Will you join me as we welcome her to the podium at this particular time? Thank you for your leadership. Thank you, Dr. Smith. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Oh, this is such an exciting day. As Dr. Smith and Ms. Gorl have indicated, good citizenship is at the top of the line when it comes to doing what is right. I think the five characteristics of good citizenship Ms. Gorl outlined were right on the money. And as Dr. Smith said, we are so excited because we are here today to celebrate you. 
And it is important to recognize that good citizenship is not something you do when everybody is looking. Good citizenship often occurs when nobody is looking. Not that you want to be recognized, but we are very excited today to recognize you. You are our first Good Citizens of the Month for the Hampton City School Division event to be recognized. So give yourselves another round of applause. We're very excited, as I said today, to be here, but we've also got some people I want to recognize who took time out of their busy schedule to change some things around so they could be here to celebrate you. I'll start with members of our school board, and that is Mr. Jason Samuels. Would you please stand and be recognized? We also have Dr. Reginald Woodhouse. And rounding out our board members events here today in terms of attendance, we have Dr. Richard Mason. Also important to our board and very key members are our student liaison members. I'd like to introduce our student liaison, Jeremy Taylor. Would you please stand and be recognized? As well as our alternate um, star, and I've got to say star because last year he was the student rep and he was just such a good guy. We wouldn't let him go, so he's the alternate. We want to call on, please, um, Xavier Williams to stand and be recognized as well. These two young men do a tremendous job in making sure that we hear your concerns in terms of what students want to see board members and administration take a look at. So we thank you for your service. In terms of thanking people, we could not do this without sponsors. People and organizations who say we want to help. Our sponsors today are four, four organizations, actually five, that could not be here in terms of representatives, but we need to make sure you know who took care of this luncheon today and who is very important in terms of making sure that they recognize you. Our sponsors today are the HAEOP, which stands for the Hampton Association of Education Office Professionals, the Hampton Roads Educators Credit Union, Old Point National Bank, First Advantage Credit Union, and an insurance organization called USI. So you and your parents and your relatives remember these people as you move throughout the day and the year. These were your sponsors. Let's have a round of applause for our sponsors and I'll recognize Ms. Kelly Gore back to the stage. Thank you. Before I go on, one other person we would like to recognize for being here today, thank you so much for taking time out of your busy schedule, is from our city council, our councilman, Mr. Brown, would you please stand to be recognized? Thank you very much. And as Ms. Cherry said, it is very important that we do thank our sponsors because it really would not be possible um, without their support. And they truly do believe in Hampton City Schools and as well as each and every one of you as the students here representing your schools. So now, it's really the best time of the event. Who can guess what the best time of the event is? Food. I heard it. Food. The food, yes. It is the food. So what's going to happen is we will come to your table and let you know when it's time to get up and get into the buffet line. Um, but before eating, I'm going to ask our school board members, our city council member, the superintendent, and our guest speaker to just take a quick photo op up here. And everybody else is going to get started. Everybody enjoy. Hello, my name is Richard Hazlett. Hello, my name is Stephanie Nduku. Hello, my name is Trinity Gaylord. Hello, my name is Laquan Johnson. And, and we, we attend, attend Bassett Elementary school. school. Hello, my name is Michael Bourne. Hello, my name is Gabrielle Prunty. Hello, my name is Patrick O'Malley. And, and we, we attend, attend Armstrong Elementary. Elementary. Hello, my name is Tyler White. Hello, my name is Cameron Tillou. Hello, my name is Amaya Aiken. Hello, my name is Sophia Jones. Hello, my name is Amaya Edmonds. Hello, my name is Justin Thompson. Hello, my name is Mia Mitchell. And, and we, we attend Hunter B. Andrews. Hello, my name is Jabari Dunn. 
Hello, my name is Stevie Brown. Hello, my name is Zania Sanderlin. Hello, my name is Khalees Banks. And we attend Kerry Elementary. Hello, my name is Jillian Pounders. Hello, my name is Miracle Murchison. Hello, my name is Darius McCallum. Hello, my name is DeMonte Williams. Hello, my name is Emily Major. Hello, my name is Oljamet Broadbelt. And, and we, we attend Jones Magnet Middle School. Hello, my name is Benjamin Bullard. Hello, my name is Kiara Salazar. Hello, my name is Joshua Gardner. And we attend Asbury Elementary School. Hello, my name is Theory Singleton. Hello, my name is Tennille Razor. Hello, my name is Julia Lang. Hello, my name is Micah Hopewell. And we attend Phillips Elementary. Hello, my name is Anila Pressey. Hello, my name is Gavin Holbrooks. Hello, my name is Zacharias Uribus. Hello, my name is Mackenzie Potter Shannon. And, and we, we attend Booker Elementary School. Hello, my name is Eli Roos. Hello, my name is Alexa Koshkarian. Hello, my name is Mackenzie Steele. Hello, my name is Andrew Herman. And, and we, we attend Langley Elementary. Hello, my name is Akaika Sean. Hello, Thomas. my name is Carmen Cutler. Hello, my name is Jordan Lurse. Hello, my name is Corrine Reed. Hello, my name is Maya Winters. Hello, my name is Ralea Byron. And, and we attend Sims Middle School. Hi, I'm Tyler Bevington. Hi, uh, I'm David Henshaw. Hi, I'm Sabrina Anderson. Hi, I'm Xavier Harris. Hi, I'm Megan Watson. Hello, my name is Amaya Mooney. Hi, I'm Cameron Johnson. And we, and we attend, attend Kikatan High School. Hello, my name is London Covington. Hello, my name is Jacob Ruffin. Hello, my name is Addison Williams. Hello, my name is Kayla Morris. And, and we attend Aberdeen Elementary. Hello, my name is Christian Mouton. Hello, my name is Michael Davis. Hello, my name is Joey Ellis Howard. Hello, my name is Jacquez Woods. Hello, my name is Gabrielle Thomas. Hello, my name is Kennedy DeCosta. Hello, my name is Cecilia Kreese. Hello, my name is Ayanna Bryant. And, and we attend Hampton High School. Hello, my name is Samaya Freeman. Hello, my name is Tyron Hayesroof. Hello, my name is Adib Korman. And, and we, we attend Lindsay Middle, Middle School. Hello, my name is Aaron Noblin. Hello, my name is Madison Banks. Hello, my name is Robin Sorrell. Hello, my name is Kyrie Holden. And we, and we attend, attend Cooper, Cooper Elementary. Elementary. Hello, my name is Karen. Hello, my name is Ethan Wiggins. And we, we attend, attend Craft, Craft Elementary. Elementary. Hello, my name is Adriana Gridine. Hello, my name is Joe Council. Hello, my name is Siani White. Hello, my name is Justin Cohen. Hello, my name is Angel Hawk. And, and we, we attend Ian Middle School. School. Hello, my name is James Vinny III. Hello, my name is Tay Clovey on Club. And we attend Brian Elementary. Hi, my name is Kaiden Gines. Hello, my name is Victor Major. Hello, my name is Shayana Cook. Hello, my name is Leilani Canella. And, and we, we attend Grant Middle School. Hello, my name is Brennan Blum. Hello, my name is Latea Scott. Hello, my name is Jordan Marshall. And we attend Smith Elementary School. Hi, my name is Paul Lawrence. I'm the principal at Spratly Gifted Center. Hi, my name is Kaden Hatton. Hi, my name is Kennedy Hood. Hi, my name is Tavares Mann. Hi, my name is Salome Kling. Hi, my name is Alyssa Sparks. Hi, my name is Charles Moon. Hi, my name is Raymond West. And we, we attend, attend Spratly Gifted Center. Center. Uh, hello, my name is Nicholas Risbin. Hi, I'm Josiah Garcia. Hello, my name is Maya Miller. And we, we attend Phoebus High School. School. Hello, my name is Chase Glazier, and I attend Forest Elementary. Hello, my name is Kalea Randles. Hello, my name is Hajar Omar. Hello, my name is Kennedy Lee. Hello, my name is Olivia McDaniel. And we attend Tucker Caps Elementary School. Hello, my name is Chelsea St. Prue. Hello, my name is Josiah Rogers. Hello, my name is Fabian Ornelas. Hello, my name is Marvin Dennis. Hello, my name is Jada Jackson. Hello, my name is Isaiah Riley. Hello, my name is Niara Ashburn. Hello, my name is Ellie Hollins. Hello, my name is Destiny Colon. Hello, my name is Jacory Everett. And, and we attend Phoenix Creek Lakes. Hi, my name is Daniel Dolly. Hello, my name is Alexis Packer. Hello, my name is Sylvia Cheatham. Hello, my name is Amaya Bennett. Hello, my name is Sana Fadal. Hello, my name is Kaylin Brown. Hello, my name is Christian Young. And, and we, we attend Bethel High School.
the home of academic excellence. Say it like you mean. Hello, my name is Janelle Smothers. Hello, my name is Grace McBride. And we attend Barry Elementary. Hello, my name is Kamari Lacey. Hello, my name is Diego Cosio. And, and we, we attend, attend Machen, Machen Elementary. Elementary. My name is Nolan Cargill. My name is Promise Harris. My name is Jalen Burgess. My name is Calvin Jones. And, and we, we attend Tyler Elementary. Hello, my name is Kay Busico. Hello, my name is Justice Edwards Thompson. Hello, my name is Lana Dearson. Hello, my name is Elisha Patrick. And we attend Burbank Elementary School. All right, we're going to go ahead and get started. I know we've got a few students still going through the line, which is absolutely fine. So please feel free to go through the line and then have a seat. But I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to introduce our guest speaker for today because we have somebody very special with us. His name is Mr. Jesse Gomes. And Mr. Gomes is the assistant fire marshal with the city of Hampton. So when he isn't glued to the com computer reviewing site plans, he actually conducts business fire inspections and fire um, investigations with his partner. And his partner is a canine partner named Taylor. So he also leads engagements on fire safety in our school. So you may recognize Mr. Gomes or Taylor. So Mr. Gomes is a native of Boston. He has served in the United States Air Force. He's been employed with the City of Hampton's Fire Department for the past 21 years, the last 14 in the Fire Marshal's office. Mr. Gomes fuses his experience of complex fire investigations and inspections into building site plan review to help developers, business owners, and the public remain safe. He is certified as a law enforcement officer, a fire investigator, a fire inspector through the Virginia Fire Marshals Academy. He is a canine handler, a firefighter, a medic, and most importantly, a husband and a dad. He's a member of the International Association of Arson Investigators, the International Association of Arson Investigators Virginia chapter, the National Association of Fire Investigators and the Tidewater Region Arson Panel. And his latest accomplishments, which are really, really cool, and I think you all would like this, his, are an unmanned aerial system member, drone pilot. How many of you know what a drone looks like? Pretty cool. And utilizing aerial ve vehicles to conduct search and rescues for missing persons, photography for exterior fire inspections, fire investigations, and post-damage assessments. So, at this moment, I see Taylor and Mr. Gnome. Gomes, please join me in welcoming Mr. Gomes and his partner, Taylor, who are perfect examples of good citizens. Say hi. hi. Stay. Stay. So this is going to be a little difficult because she likes to play. <laughs> Stay. I'd like to thank Miss Carolyn for the introduction. Uh, this is my partner, Taylor. Her and I have been together for almost 11 years. Uh, we went to school back in 2008 and I became a certified accelerant canine handler. Does anybody know what accelerants are? They are things that are used to commit crimes, but we're not gonna talk about criminal activity today. Taylor and I also go to schools. There's some of you that are in here that have probably seen me at schools doing public education. Um, we go out into the community and do public speakings and things of that nature. But while I was researching this topic, stay, I thought, you know, what is a good citizen? And it kind of echoed some of those things before about someone who volunteers and is active in their community, a person who's honest and trustworthy, excuse me, <clears throat> a person that respects the rights of others. And I think you all have been doing some great things to be recognized 
I talked to a young lady back there that said she's been here twice. I've talked to some of the other young folks in here today that they've been here. It's not their first trip. So you guys are doing some really great things. But also, good citizens have a moral, the moral courage to stand up for what they consider to be wrong and defend those who cannot defend themselves. So I implore you to keep yourself well informed by reading books, not computer stuff, books. Read books and stay up to date on the world news. Go out and mentor the younger kids and try to help them in any way. If it's homework, sports, exercise, you can volunteer at a local farm, volunteer um, at an animal shelter. Just get out and try some things that are different. Step away from your norm. You would not believe how infectious this would be and how much your peers will look up to you. Plus these things are different types of contributions to help you gain experience and give yourself a more positive outlook on life. Good citizens aren't afraid to share their skills, talents, abilities, and ideas with other people. Learn more about our city by going to city council meetings, other community events within our city, uh, go to the neighborhood community center, or other public gatherings. Just open your mind. Check out the American Heritage Theater down in Phoebus. You can go to the Charles Taylor Art Center down on Victoria Boulevard, or the Hampton History, History Museum. Just get out and try something different. Be a productive member of society. A good citizen contributes to our city and our nation by being productive. Be, a, be active, excuse me, <clears throat> by participating in social activities here in our city. Look for ways to make our community a better place to live. Join local clubs that devote to activities that interest you. Instead of being cooped up in your home or glued to a cell phone playing games, I hear some chuckling. Flip that social media around and use the platforms like Facebook and Snapchat and some of the other ones you like to use and do that to promote a positive, productive agenda. Use the media platforms to show everyone how much you are an active member in our community and go out and make a difference. Always be courageous, loving, courteous, thoughtful, and righteous. You're the future. Make it happen. Now, thank you. A lot of times, I'm going to step away from this because I don't really need it. A lot of times, when we show up to the scene, everybody thinks it's automatically an arson fire. In fire investigations, we're supposed to check everything at an incident. And this is just a different tool in my toolbox. She's the only one that's around here between here and Richmond. So we do go to Chesapeake, Norfolk, Virginia Beach, and the other parts of the seven cities to assist other localities with large base fires. She's hand fed. That's why she's so attentive to this right here. And she eats three times a day. But in order for her to eat, she has to train. So each training session is probably eight to 16 repetitions. So over 10 years, three times a day, eight to 16 repetitions, who can tell me how many that is? Lots. So when you don't feel like getting up to go to school, imagine how I feel when I have this person right here waiting for me to take her to the bathroom, feed her by hand, train her, and give her love. Because you can see she's very loved. She doesn't have a mean bone in her body. Um, she's kind of like a therapy dog, but she doesn't do anything therapeutic. <laughs> Except for, if I stand here, down. See, she's always smoking. Hey. 
she actually thinks she's going to work. But as you can see, she wants to sniff. She sniffs everything, because that's her job. Um, but it's, it's, it's quite challenging, but it's also very rewarding. And she's going to retire here in April. And I have another gentleman, a younger gentleman in my office that's going to take over the next dog that we kept. So look out come April for a retirement ceremony for Taylor. Thank you. Well, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed listening to Mr. Gomes as much as I did and seeing Taylor today. And please accept this gift as a token of our appreciation. I'm afraid to give it to you, though, because it's chocolate. <laughs> and she's going to see me right. give it to you, and she's going to want something, too. She can smell it. She can smell it. Thank you. So before we close, can everybody give Taylor and Mr. Gomes a huge round of applause? What a treat, especially with Taylor retiring in April. So thank you so much for coming and sharing with us today. And also before we close, I'd like to thank our sponsors once again, because most importantly, we need those sponsors in order to help out celebrating you all. But the most important thing is we'd like to congratulate each and one of you again for being Citizen of the Month. We are all here today because of each of you. So we encourage you to keep doing the great things that you're doing and continue to be that leader for your peers and in your school and in your community. And Mr. Gomes hit on that as far as being in your community. It's more than just doing your normal day-to-day -day things, but get out and do something different. Try something new. So let's have a round of applause for all of your hard work. And shortly, we will dismiss all of you uh, by bus number. So we'll come up and tell you which bus number. Don't forget your packets that you received when you came in, which include a schedule sharing when this luncheon will air on Channel 46, because yes, you will be on TV. And most importantly, congratulations. We wish you the most success the remainder of the school year. Good job, guys. Mm -hmm.